Let's do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, like that. Like I sounded that. so tired. <laughs> <laughs> we back another week, another episode. BYOB, the podcast. I'm your host, Regular Ja, a.k.a. That's who they call me in these streets. That's crazy what they into. That's what's up. <laughs> mm. I'm going to bleep that out because it's going to be funnier with that muted and nobody knowing what the fuck I said it was. Absolutely funny. <laughs> Especially because I know my face gave you the... All right. <laughs> Get how you live, Mr. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a motherfucking guest host in the building. What up, what up, what up, what up? I'm back. Yeah. Hey. Y'all know motherfucking K Marie. Glad damn clap it up for K Marie, goddamn it. Hey. She like to fuck with us sometimes. Things? She like to fuck with us sometimes. Every now and again, I come outside. It's just because her birthday was yesterday, so she it, thought it was. It she thought was. we was throwing a surprise. She only popped up because she she thought we was throwing a surprise party. But nah, nigga, you came to work tonight. Uh, <laughs> niggas ain't even had a piece of chicken. Like, oh, you should have came when Joe Pro was here. He ate like half the chicken though. We had two two ten pieces. He ate like how is that helpful of them shits. at this present? It's time. not at all. Oh, okay, cool. I'm yeah. actually just making it worse that there is no chicken here. It's cool. It's fine. Chicken will be had at some. Actually, my producer just had some chicken and collard greens. I was about to say. I was about to say. I was about to ask him what else he had because he had collard greens, and I was like, I was gonna let him cook because he might have had like ribs or some shit. You never know. You just want to make sure he won't just eat just collard greens by himself. He could because my country. You saw what my country. I eat butter beans and cornbread. Of course. Right, so. This nigga. This nigga. Are you nigga, sharing not- food? <gasps> To a high nigga, that is that's a love language to no, a high person. No, that's not even because I'm high. That's just that's just precious. All oh. it better be something in here. Oh my god, it really is something in here. Oh, <laughs> oh boo. Now I ain't gonna front. If you would have gave her an empty container, she probably would have knocked all this shit over. Oh, <laughs> like, oh I would have. <laughs> I would have three hundred this shit she and gotten would've. the fuck up out of here. I would have. <laughs> And that, it would have been extra mad because I would have did it and left my shit, so I would have had to come back. Because <laughs> it's not on the way out when I kick. Yeah, no, it's yo, not. that's the worst. When you storm out and you forget something vital, oh, I had that, that shit ha- knock all the cool out of your storm Listen, out. Because you got to, yo, I, I, did that I need to my, my keys. I'm I did that to my ex and stormed out of the house and left my fucking keys. And this nigga opened the fucking door. Was he like this ass. with him? No, he fucking <laughs> threw them out the crack of the fucking door. I was like, you bitch ass. Yeah. Were you more mad at him? I think it was really him. Like, it okay. was irritating nah, to me. I only asked like, because it's like... Um, to throw the keys out the crack of the door and then slam the shit. Like, yeah. a little bitch. Like, come on, dog. <laughs> Be fucking for real. Nah, I only asked because, like, if you mad and he's not and you forget the keys and you come back and he just dangling them shits, like, yeah, nigga, you're stupid. Like, I was, ma- like I was mad, but, that like, pissed you off at more. the time, it was more like, I missed my dramatic exit. <laughs> That was a pride thing. That had nothing to do with the actual argument. Yeah. <laughs> you like, fuck him. Like, yeah, hey, whatever. Cool. My, the funniest shit, uh, my cousin, <laughs> this nigga tried to storm out, and he got in the driveway, and the car wouldn't start. Hey, yo. <laughs> like, his battery was dead. Shut up. So, like, he got there and went and click, click, click. Like, nigga, so he had to just walk around the neighborhood. Like, don't. Way that, left. That he still left. Like, the nigga still left, but like. So bad. You don't even get the skirt out the driveway. And it's embarrassing because, like, you trying to bounce. You trying to stand on your shit and bounce, and then the car don't start. Like, Can I just look say, crazy as hell. I might sound absolutely insane, but let me tell you how my anxiety works. I have never skirted off because I'm scared to pull off that fast. Like, I feel like I'm going to fuck around and <laughs> be gonna mad. Hit something. And I'm going to hit some shit. And now, oh. Bitch, I'm going to get out of the car. And I got to burn the house down. <laughs> like, that's the, my next step is to have to go to, like, the ultimate extreme. Yeah, because what if you hit, like, your cool neighbor whip and they, like, outside cutting the grass? So they know that you hit they shit. Bro, or what if I hit, like, my mailbox because it's my house? So now you got to, because you got to have a mailbox. You got to pay to get another <laughs> fucking mailbox and shit. That's so, it's just so inconvenient. That's why I try not to be mad doing shit. And I say that because the last time I tried to skirt off, it was, oh my God, this is when I was driving an 03 Buick LeSabre. First off, that bitch is big. Let's start off Yeah, with them that. shits is huge. Them shits are huge. And I was in the fucking bank line, and I think my mom called me. She pissed me off, and I called myself backing out the bank line to leave real fast. In a Buick, bitch? 
<laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is fast about a Buick. None of that happened. Not even how how that bitch heat up. Nothing. Hey, when I tell you, like you can be I going eighty in a Buick and that shit feel like you are going forty. I smacked the shit out the front of my car, like, I, yeah. baby, that and pole. What year was it? A uh, 03. Oh yeah, so that shit was still metal and everything. Yeah, like, so that, that shit, shit was. That shit. You know how hard I had to hit that shit. I I I had shit, shit hit me at eighty, and niggas be like. You hit my car to the eyes. I actually, it looks like you hit you hit me. Well, look at my car. Look, I drive a Buick, sir. <laughs> that little plastic Miata you got is not. <laughs> yeah, nigga, put that shit in your pocket and get the fuck on. Right. Also, like, I give you a ride. Just put the car in your pocket, nigga. Come on. Also, Buick had a lot of like trunk space, so like the running joke is like I could put like twelve. Yeah, bodies. bodies. In there. Like they said, that's yeah. how the mafia used to decide what cars um, mm-hmm. they was gonna buy from the dealership. Because of the bodies. That's why, like, they all drove, like, Cadillacs and um, the old Chevys. Just shit with big trunks. I feel like everybody at Alabama has a grandmother. They drove, like, an old red Oldsmobile. Yeah. The, um... The little pointy one. You know, yeah, I don't know. Not I'm the lever. I like, forgot the name. I know it's You just, know what I'm talking about, I know about, the exact right? shit you're talking about. <laughs> I'm crying because the inside all smells the same no matter whose car you get into. <laughs> Yeah, that's like old people living rooms. Hey, they yo. all most old people living rooms smell the same. I'm crying. Even if they get air freshener, it smells like air freshener in that. <laughs> like <laughs> it still <laughs> smell. It still smell the it's same. It's like an air of like the crushed velvet something that's in the room <laughs> that like holds an odor, and I don't know what it is, but it's definitely the like crushed velvet shit or like the crushed suede that's on something. Fucking couch, and random pl- pillow, and plastic. And in plastic. And like Imagine your furniture sweating and that's why it's musty in your house. Like <laughs> Oh God. That's exactly Oh, and that's crazy because they used to yo, that that <laughs> furniture plastic used to be crazy. That shit was bulletproof. So that was like thick at that was the thickest plastic known to man. Word, that's the shit you should cover your car with outside. Because <laughs> <laughs> what? That shit was thick as fuck. <laughs> hey, that and nah, the fucking plastic runners that used to be. Because if you had the plastic covers on the couch, I know your grandma had the plastic runners. Where if the shit was flipped yeah. up, that was the end of Yo, your fucking so, life. All right. like, me and my cousin, and I'll like, show you the proof later. Them shits were the same spikes that the police used uh, to tire. Me and like, my cousins, because we all grew up in my grandma. Backwards. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> no, that's what I was about to I'm say. Crying. So me and my cousins grew up in my grandma crib. Saying mm-hmm. We used to do that. Flip them shits over in the middle of the night. So one night, my grandma got up, and the shit was flipped, and she went to walk to the bathroom. And nigga, nigga, when I tell you it was hell on earth in the crib, <laughs> it was, Why that shit was terrible. That? So we didn't what? do it. For, <laughs> we didn't do it. That is such a terrible no. idea. So we used to do it. So it was me, my brother, and my girl cousins. We all grew up together. We in the same age. So we used to do it to get to get each other. I'm crying. Like we would randomly just flip it upside down and then like somebody gonna step on it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, back when we was growing up, like all the grown ups really like had like house shoes and shit. Like kids ain't we ain't niggas ain't never wear house shoes in the crib. Like not us, not us as kids. Mm. We barely wore socks in the motherfucking house. So it's like Listen. We would flip that shit up, and then off, one night in the middle of the night, like three in the morning, my grandma got up to go to the bathroom, and all I know is all the lights was, in the house came it on. It was hell. <laughs> I would just like to say that this is like the best service I've ever received since I have been here, and I don't yeah, because he because he gave you my shit. I appreciate that. <laughs> so <it's, laughs> I'm gonna let I'm gonna let him cook, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna let him get his shit off and like seem like a great host. But he didn't even ask you, <laughs> ask me if he could give you my shit. So as, I look, <laughs> as you keep, and you trying to open it quick, so I can't be like, nah, you can't have it. So you trying to sip. make sure that sh- nah, you good, you good, you good. Because it's regular cranberry juice. <laughs> nah, I'm just, I, we actually got them shits for like this. I'm crying. But I that was that the last one. I got one over here though. I love that for you. Look at you getting customer service and shit. Y'all just... We trying to move up. Precious. We trying to move up. I love that for y'all. We trying to move up a little Every bit. Every time I come back, my hair grows, too. So there's that. That's what it's supposed to do. If it your is. shit Because it's been some months. So it's if been your some shit, fucking months. If your shit was still Imagine the same. Imagine me coming back and that shit still being in my ears. Yeah, I'm going to say something about it. <laughs> no, so... Trying. So you just been clipping your shit? Like, <laughs> you got to say it casually. So you just been clipping your shit? 
<laughs> and just go to go on and do something else. Like <laughs> I'm fucking crying. That's probably yeah. No, nah, we trying to move up a little bit. We trying to do a little something. No, it's a pretty. You know what I'm saying no. That's precious. So. No, we trying to we we just trying to get rich enough to stop talking to niggas. Yeah. Okay, fair. 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 I had a moment because I was like, you can't just stop talking. Why you? you why? I, I why can't you? you? No, 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 no. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Why, know can't, you? You. why okay. can't you? Why can't you just stop talking to niggas with you? What are you talking about? Well, I, well, you, this is the wrong nigga to ask. Never mind. Because <laughs> he already told niggas. I'm going to tell you all the reasons why I know this nigga is not here to fuck around and play no games. Okay. That leg cross is so fucking serious. <laughs> And that lean back means That's grown so man much shit. Because as soon as he lean back and look at you like that with leg cross and don't say shit, you might as well walk off. Okay? Because what? Because that shit, he is the epitome of the Diddy stare at the fucking. No, we can't put the Diddy shit. stare on yet. Yeah. That that, shit. That's not a cool thing to put on a nigga right now. No, oh, not for him. <laughs> Fuck him. Listen, first off, I don't even, y'all don't piss me off. Y'all knew that nigga was a creep. I've known that nigga Diddy was a creep since I was eight years old. Why y'all ain't know? <laughs> Why is everybody surprised? Was it the list? Hmm? <laughs> was it the list? It was the everything. It was the it was the way he held his mouth. I don't know how to explain it. My fixation on people is like weird things about their faces. You know that. And the way he held his mouth always pissed me oh, off. Oh, the, the shit that Chappelle was making fun of with the tongue hanging out and shit. I'm just sitting in the studio now. I'm trying it's, to block it with the it's, mic it's so like they don't see me doing it. It's like he always has, he needs a pocket of air. It's like he can't. He can't quite breathe without it. Like, and yeah, that pisses me off. He just got to keep a, a, a canal open. A little, a little hole. <laughs> a like channel, a little... He got to keep a channel open. I, I, don't, I don't know how to fucking explain it. You have to, like, be on, like, some weirdo shit, like, really just staring at him, like, in videos and all that shit. Basically, the way he holds his mouth, it makes me want to just, yo, close your shit. You good? Like, <laughs> you, I know that <laughs> shit dry. I know that shit dry. Ain't no way. I be looking at some people and I be like, yo, I know that shit dry, too. <laughs> I do that too. Good night. <laughs> I can Good do that night. too. Good night. Jesus. I do that time Je- to time. Jesus Christ. I do that. Yo, time have you time. seen that TikTok? Uh, that yeah. is my favorite. I know that shit. shit dry. I know that shit dry. I'm I'm trying to bypass. I know you trying. That's why. I'm, <laughs> that's the only reason I'm keeping it going because you trying to sh- pivot away. <laughs> I love that for us. Anyway, <laughs> uh, listen. It's 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 the organic chemistry of <laughs> no. Nah. What a sign shit. Give me some. I know, right? Give me some. Oh, uh, ending, ending slash beginning the zodiac season here. I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, watery ass Pisces. Everybody's been in their bag too since Pisces season started. I'm low key like I like I hope y'all are right out there. It's because y'all birthday come during tax season, so everything is just money. They just think about y'all. They think about money. I can see that. I I can get with that. They don't release. They don't release taxes until like the the first day of Pisces season. Damn. Stay woke, my sister. Stay, Stay fucking woke. woke. <laughs> this is a ploy from the government to let you. No, I'm just fucking. That's why there's so much contingency. It's like they're either like all like all in or they're like fuck this shit. I'm not with it. Yeah. It just depends on what side of the field you're on. <clears throat> As I'm about to choke on fucking cranberry juice. I, I Straight cranberry juice and the tartness and just, I can't. I drank them shits. I drank that I whole. Or at I least not like Ocean Sprite. And it's weird because I can drink like the the unsweetened like real cranberry juice just fine. And that tartness yeah. doesn't bother me. But something about this always gets me like. Yeah, And that shit is like a shot like, of whiskey. Like I got to cut that with water. Like regular cranberry juice is like a shot of whiskey. Like that shit is, that shit is real. But I would rather drink that than this or tart cherry juice. Yeah. Oh my god. Now tart cherry juice is good though. But I get the like I get the sweetened one though. It just tastes like them little shits we used to eat in the morning at school. <laughs> Not the fruit cocktails. Not the fruit cocktail. They had the <clears throat> cherry joints. I'm over here sounding like yeah. Shorty Girl in the goddamn jail mic and shit. Good God. Hey go. Yo, <laughs> she You be doing that as in Get the fuck. <laughs> first off. You be asking if you that No, <laughs> I did at this big age, I think I just now figured out how you can call somebody daddy and then not be weird, and I still feel weird. So. Oh, I thought you was going to elaborate. No, I just do it out of sarcasm at this point. Like, 
And niggas, and niggas just be on board with that. You know, you know I like that shit. I'm like, all right, Big Daddy. And that's how I'm saying it, but, like, in their head, they That hearing... sounds like you trying to carry him, though. All right, Big Daddy. Yeah, but, like, but, but in their like... head, they hear, okay, Big Daddy. And yeah. that's wild, because it definitely does not sound like that. <laughs> I don't know. Like, niggas going to start calling you uh, Big Money in a second. That Big Money is crazy, <laughs> okay? <laughs> like... You keep with the sarcasm. They be like, "What's up, big money?" No, I mean, like, I I get the sarcasm anyway. Yeah. They say that anyway when they see. They me. ain't gonna be sarcastic. No, though. but people say that anyway when they see me working because of the type of job that I do. Yeah. Because I'm like, one of, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Jessica. No, <laughs> but like you uh, actually do that. Like, yeah, and they say the same thing. Like I told, like I told you, like five thirty in the fucking morning, dude walks up to me. You shouldn't be doing that. You should be in the bed sleeping. That's a man's job. And I looked at him and I was like, and yet, sir, here I am. <laughs> and he just walked off. And my question is always the same. Like, when you walk up to me and say these things, what is the next actionable step? Like, or did you just want to let me know? That's niggas. That, that be niggas like way in. Is, is or they that think that's they way they in. They think they're planting a seed. Is that what it is? Like, is this like the faith of a must seed, must yeah. seed? Or have the potential you know, to plant a hey, seed. Hey, you, you better than this. You are. That's it. You better than this is a line you should only use at the strip club. Please, please, because as I'm doing, and then you got to, and labor. then you got to follow it with, <laughs> and then you got to follow it with. You better than this. I can change your life. You yeah, don't have, because you don't have to do this no more. Because at doing manual labor, <laughs> fully clothed at five thirty in the morning, sir, this thing is yeah. almost eight hundred pounds. Will you move? <laughs> please, can get out my way. <laughs> Oh my god! It's or or my favorite is like when the uh, low on melanins come around and they're like, oh, "You're a hard working lady." I really don't need you to evaluate that for me. I really don't need that input. Thank you. Thank these you. Are these the same motherfuckers that be saying shit like working harder, hardly working. Are you talking about that, yeah, yeah, that group? Yeah, yeah, that group? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the low on melanins. Fuck out my face. The, <laughs> That's why I the, just, the, fuck out my face. Yeah, the mayonnaise cowboys, the semen demons, the. <sighs> Ooh. What they used to call them on Twitter? Pasty apricots. tasties. They used to call them apricots, apricots. on Twitter. Oh, man. That was crazy. Listen. That was a wild time. The that fluorescent was like... beige. The... We, wow. we we get the point. It, do we? <laughs> no, it's Black History Month. Keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cottage cheese bandits. Um... Keep going. Mm-hmm. No, nah, don't keep going. All right. You don't want Tyrese in your DMs giving you lectures and shit about what you should and shouldn't be doing. Who? Yeah, Tyrese. Like Tyree, yeah. Like, what more do you want from me? Yeah, <laughs> that's insane. Why the fuck would he ever be in my DMs? Because he, they say he he randomly does that. Like he randomly DMs people and gives them like life advice, like a life coach. Tyrese, hey, he saved uh, DJ Envy's marriage. Tyrese, if you're gonna randomly DM me. I, listen, don't don't give it me. It better the be hug. about some money, nigga. <laughs> listen, That's don't, what she trying to tell. Don't you. give me the hug without the ten million dollars, okay? Because I need both. Okay. Matter she fact, trying not to tell you it better be about some money, nigga. To be fair, you're Tyrese, so the ten thousand dollars. To be wild. fair. To be fair though. That's wild. Why? I mean, yeah, he probably I don't know. Ten mil ten mil really is a ten mil is a niggas, but... ten mil is a lot, right? And if we're talking on the acting scale, there's not a lot of actors that's like making ten mil on a regular. That's that's nah. fair. So, and if there was it, I mean, the A list ones definitely are. ain't gonna be Tyrese. The A list ones are. Yeah, but there's really not a lot of A list ones now that we are yeah. in this decade and stage of our lives. No, it's not. And then we they fresh, are, we are. fresh off the writer strike and shit too. Yeah, and it's, it's odd it's a lot because of shit like going on with it. Hollywood is taking a turn because low key has anyone noticed like they not remaking like newer stars. They just kill them off and they're like, we're good. We're just gonna. Not do anything else. No, it's, no, it's, <laughs> it's pretty much the same like what these fucking big companies out here do with temps and shit. Like they fire the niggas that's been there for twenty something years, and then they go hire temps because you getting you got these niggas that's making thirty dollars an hour. Ah, stop doing that. Get them niggas out of here. We gonna go hire the niggas Listen. that we can pay seventeen, cut these costs, it's crazy, and train them how we like, need them. There's not a single new actor or actress that I can name right now that I'm like super super locked in on. Yeah, let me see. Let me. Like, and I'm talking about when I say new, I mean like mm. not within the last like five years, like just started within the last five years or maybe three. I years. say three. Yeah, I'm about to say, three. I say three. I say three. Because every because even even the ones that people are considering new, I've seen them in. Yeah, act. I've seen like them Jonathan already. Majors and them. Like they've been around for a minute. They exactly, just ain't exactly reached um, their peak like that. Right, right. Like, um, um, 
even the uh, Adris guy, the other Adris, Dameson. Adris. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, shit. Snowfall, then he did a lot of, but you know, them UK niggas, they shit, they yeah, take yeah, that yeah. shit like. They're serious. Like, so. them niggas, like, live and die by that acting shit. Mm -hmm. Because it's like a culture over there. Mm -hmm. Like, acting theater, this shit is, like, really a culture and nah, shit. Nah, I fuck that. It's, that's dope. If you're gonna do it, you might as well be all in. What kind of egg roll is this? What? <laughs> that's crazy. You said that it's like so you've kind. never heard or seen that seen that before. I, it's not that I've never heard or seen it, but that's real, not some shit that people just give somebody. It's not in real life. <laughs> that's the shit that people usually that's tuck the, away. Yeah, like that's you the shit that they order and they tell you about. Like you can't get while you eat something <laughs> else that you tell them that you don't like. You know what I mean? Like oh, y'all both order at the same time and you don't fuck with your shit and they're like fuck they you fucking that shit up. Like damn, what you get the Philly cheese egg roll man? That shit fire. Dips, <laughs> snacks. Yeah, you should have got this. Yeah, and just, <laughs> just and, bite then, that and never says anything else. Like, <laughs> yeah, you should have went ahead and got this shit right here, cause that shit is insane. And then on top of that, to be fair, I don't order things like this, like, cause in my mind, it's like, and it's a good idea, right? Retrospect, until I get it, and that bitch is either salty as fuck or it doesn't have enough cheese. I have texture issues. There's so many factors with the egg roll. It's so much easier for me to just eat the vegetable. <laughs> Cause no matter what is crunchy, well these ain't uh, Chinese unless it's soft. Chinese, this ain't Ugh. from the Chinese place. Though. I know, it's but that's different. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I've had like the the new egg rolls or the neo egg rolls, and they're like, what the fuck bush. is a neo egg roll? A new egg roll. Duh. What the f what is that? Like an egg roll that's I, not I've traditional. So like, like what you eating now? Correct. <laughs> okay. Fucking Neo egg roll. That's what the fuck. What? Neo soul? Neo Creole? Whatever category of Neo, it's a new fucking egg roll because it's not traditional. I thought, like. <laughs> I'm just. I don't. I don't even. And this is why he doesn't have a mic. This is why we don't give him a mic. He doesn't have a mic. <laughs> for, for, for this reason. Gather yourself. Go ahead. Get that get it together. I'm used to it, kinda. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and flag that part. Yeah, that was that was different. That was different. That was real different to you. That was real. That was a real different thing for you to do, my good man. My good sir. You, you good? It's cool. Take it. We gonna cut. We gonna cut this portion. Not the whole portion, cause we gotta get some of it. We gotta get that shit. <laughs> But you can, you can go ahead and get it. I have so many questions about <laughs> when did you realize it was it? <laughs> and when did you start thinking it was? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, because when I said Neo, I said new fairly quickly. So, like, well, you just like, damn, I didn't get that at all. And then you kind of ruminated on it. Like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to just make up my own version and then ask if the version that I just made up was the one. That it is. Oh my god. <sighs> you a fucking nut. That was nigga. fucking great. You couldn't hear that, but you was a nut ass nigga. I just <laughs> want you to know that. You was you was you was <laughs> boy. Mm-mm. -mm. You was a wild boy. Yeah. So, um, did you <laughs> did you watch this uh you watch Drink Champs? Yes, I do. But did I you watch Benzino it. shit yet? I didn't watch too so bad because I, I, I didn't know if you watched it yet or not i have not and you know how i feel about <sighs> jesus christ you know how i feel about these folks you you already know you know i be you because you you know deep down in my heart yeah i am a rapper so how do you <laughs> so i don't know all right so have you seen the clip of um try to pull up the clip mm -hmm. if you can or pass the remote right there um benzino talking about eminem the other one behind you <laughs> he started crying saying he want to squash the beef like he loves Eminem and he actually wants to and I think it's more so um attributed to his daughter 
Because yeah. he don't want her, like, he don't want shit that's going on to block any, you know, Eminem a powerful nigga in the, in the industry right now. Mm. Like, them Interscope offices, I'm sure he has a lot of pull up there still, behind the scenes. Absolutely. Shady Records, so, Shady Records and Shady Radio. No, no, well, either Shady, one. Shady Radio is still a thing, so. Right? It's still a thing, right? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. still a thing. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, it's still a thing. Um, <laughs> Can we... <laughs> As we oh, say I was, something you could about just Shady to him crying because we can't go to the whole shit. Uh, yeah, boom, right there. Braids is fire. Shout out to the hairstylist. He doesn't have braids. You didn't see the person? I thought you were talking about Benzino. No. <laughs> Those are braids. That's wild because he don't have braids in the picture. You can turn it up. The mics ain't gonna pick it up. It ain't gonna hit the copyright. Yeah. He definitely he, did not win drunk that. Too. He's drunk too. He is definitely drunk. <laughs> hey yo. He definitely the drunk uncle at the like the cookout and shit at this point. Like the end of the cookout, everybody like slowly starting to go home and then like this nigga drunk. <laughs> and I know it is because look how he holding his blunt. <laughs> I know a drunk nigga cry when I see it. Yeah, he's drunk. Like, I wouldn't have let that nigga drink that much. <laughs> I feel like he came, like, halfway there and then finished it off. <laughs> Look, they gave him all the tissues. <laughs> Yo, that shit is like... They just, they gave they just opened the box and just yeah, was like, here, because they didn't know what to do. They never had to give a nigga <laughs> tissues. Look at the mic. Look at the mic. <laughs> The technician is mad as fuck. God damn, nigga. <laughs> you have no choice. You just threatened to beat him the fuck up. He's not about to sit down and talk to you, bro. Y'all niggas is high, and y'all know y'all ain't <laughs> shit. And I, it's the way he looked at him, because he was like, man, all right. <laughs> Dog, that liquor, I think the drunk, the the, the last minute of drunkness mm-hmm. is how he really feel. More o- more so over the, the two minutes of fuck him. I think it's more so Absolutely. that the Absolutely. nigga just, like you said, if niggas just sat down and had a conversation, they probably, shit probably... Would have been squashed years ago. Absolutely no, because whole time. Once y'all get to a point where y'all are, like, obviously the rat be like, <laughs> it obviously went to the side that it went to, and not to be funny. Yeah. Even if you did think Benzino won, he did not win in life. So. Well, no, I think he was talking the the recent records. Oh okay. Yeah, because Eminem didn't respond. Like the the older ones, like niggas know what that was. But no, also, he doesn't want to, okay? He's living his life as Marshall, okay? He he is a- absolutely Marshall right now. Yeah. Like, you don't, you rarely see him out. Mm-mm. He was at the, uh, at the Lions game. Yeah. 
He was there. Uh, um, um, I'm trying to see where else he was. Y'all are great. He was at a fight. Not the one that not the one that he came out with um when he walked homie out. He was like, Yeah, in that walkout was wild. <laughs> with with uh, Crawford and shit. That was that was You can't lose if that nigga you, you get walked out to lose yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's different. Mm-hmm. Like you, you I got all the motivation in the world right now. Like that's the one song about like nigga, this is 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 this a nothing? Is this a death? So But nah, yeah. I don't know. Going out there and getting your ass whooped. That's crazy. But that's, I mean, niggas is grown, though. But I'm, I don't want to sit down and have a chit chat with you after you just told niggas you're going to beat me the fuck up. No, I'm good. I'm good. (laughs) Like, because now, nigga, when I see you, we got to, like, we got to see what that's about. Because, like, Mm. nah, because you saying we sitting down, it might be a setup. I can't just come sit down and trust you, like, in the same, like, conversation. Nah. I like that girl. <laughs> Man, I thought you had some shit to say about what we were talking about. Absolutely not. Did you Man. not see that bite? My bad. No, hey, um, you. I get it, but also, look at, like, Benzino is also, like, Pity the Fool, like, at this point, he has a pattern, <laughs> and this tends to be his pattern. <laughs> He did a lot of like beefing with people in early years, just in general. And uh, yeah. every I mean of, recent years too. Mm-hmm. Recent years. And every too. kind of recall, it's always the same like hanging my head, it ain't have to be like this, yada yeah. yada yada yada. So at this point it's like, Sir <laughs> Okay, Tink Tink. Like it's like, oh <laughs> whatever you say, boop boop. That's usually what niggas do and say when they like on the losing side of like whatever beef though. Like most niggas is so everybody knows him to be a habitual loser, so we move on. In the public eye. Yeah. Because Benzino definitely took a lot of dubs behind the scenes. Uh, absolutely, but that's everybody, Yeah, that's right? what I'm saying. Behind the scenes, he took way more dubs than L's probably, but in the public eye, it just it, the ratio ain't looking good. That kill-death ratio ain't... It, it ain't looking like it ain't looking and for, as strong. And to be fair, for somebody like him who favors the public eye and what they say more so than his <laughs> behind-the-scene wins... Yeah. For him, he's losing their life. So. Yeah. So, I mean, outside of, I mean, I just for the fact that niggas is grown men and I don't want to see no violence, like them squashing the beef would be cool. Mm-hmm. But, like, I think the only, like, real gain from it is Koi. Because I ain't going to front, like, the kind of music she make, I can hear her and him doing a song together. Mm-hmm. And I can hear that shit. That, and it, I think it'll slap. But of course she can't work with him. Like nigga, that's that's her dad. Like that's her pops. And like regardless of what relationship it woes be, they it might may, have. Listen, but, it maybe M when Slim Shitty LP came out would do some wild style shit like that. Like like because keep it a beat. Nah, yeah, O M probably would have did the song with her. And then dissed her and him on the song that they did together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. And it would have been the greatest record ever told. Like, <laughs> but at this stage in the game, I think he understands. Well, his his maturation obviously puts him there. But he had a certain respect for he had a, his daughter about her age for now, ain't it? Yeah, Haley's like, definitely Haley. at least in her twenty somethings by now. Mm-hmm. Cause How shit, the fucking she? um, was it the the shit the, the song they did together? Uh, Eminem show that came out in like what oh two oh three, mm-hmm. and she was talking, so she had to be at least three four by then. So regardless of what, she's definitely Slim Shady LP came out in '99, and she was already because he had a song with her like she's about 28. her. She's 28. So yeah, so she almost 30. So yeah, I thought she was like younger. That's crazy. Time is flying. We getting old. Damn, she's 28. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think she was that old. That's crazy. I thought she was like maybe 24, 25. Yeah, just had As a birth- I'm December 25th, just had a birthday not so long ago. That's crazy. Damn, on Christmas. Uh huh. I mean, it, I guess having a birthday on Christmas must be fire when your parents is rich. Yeah, but not when they were like dirt poor and like trailer park trash. That shit sucked before. Of her life, it it if she's only twenty eight, most of her life he's been rich. Is it? 
Oh, shit. Slim Shady LP Damn. dropped in like 99. Damn it, dude. So most of her life, he been rich. You know what it is, right? When I think about it in retrospect, when I think about like Slim Shady LP and we start talking about like age and quantifying that shit. Yeah. I knew those albums were for word then. Yeah. I was nine. <laughs> Y'all don't find that suspicious. <laughs> Just, you know what I mean? So. No, nah, yo, I ain't gonna fry. I used to be a big Eminem fan. Absolutely. Like the first like three albums. Mm, absolutely. Like I used to like punt them shims crazy. Like mm-hmm. I used to really knock them shits like a lot. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. No, I'm a big Eminem fan. He was actually what I would consider one of my favorite, <laughs> favorite rappers of all time. And not even necessarily because he was, not necessarily because of rhyme wise, but because of everything wise. Yeah. It, that he was a, he was a fucking entity like and y'all like even now we be like it's not like you gonna get in the car and turn an Eminem song on da 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 right but if an Eminem song comes on it's not like you're gonna turn the radio off yeah and if, like, <laughs> you're if not it, gonna change the radio if an M song you might not play an M song in the car but like you said if it come on I bet you know the words to that bitch mm-hmm. if it do come on in the whip. Yeah. So you had to listen to Any that motherfucker somewhere. From serious to silly, you know the yeah. words. But it's a lot of shit that I listen to that I don't bang in the whip. Like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? it's not riding around with my Yeah, like, it's, like, it's yeah. a lot of shit that I listen to and no word for word that I don't necessarily put on in the, in the fucking car when I'm in the car. Right. Like, it just... No, that's just... Yeah. It's because, I don't know. Like, even now, like, I'm in my R&B bag. I'm banging Three Doors Down by Crip. Uh, Crip Tonight by Three Doors Down, though. I'm banging that in the whip. That's loud yeah. windows down, and I'm riding through the hood. I, I mean, I might be banging Creed doors wide open. And yeah, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Fun facts about me and liking Creed is that I did not know they were a Christian sub something. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Until like some time later on, which is crazy because I watched their VH1 behind the scenes and everything, and I still did not know that. They did yeah. not mention it. I didn't know that about them, and I didn't know POD was either. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. P.O.D. is a Christian rock band, too. Like, Alive and all that shit, all them songs is... Even with their fucking, like, shit symbol? All that shit is, like, actually, it all, like, means something. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, you learn some new shit every day. That's crazy. I find that shit out, like, not that, not that recently, though. Mm. So, but I ain't care. I only knew because I, I used to be a big wrestling fanatic. Well, I still watch it, but I... Yeah. I was a wrestling fanatic, and right. like them mm. shits was always like the pay per view soundtrack. So, it's uh, only songs crazy because I was not, and I just happened to have the albums because <laughs> I like the, I like the fucking music. So here, no, nah, but like that's that's the thing. So like a lot of the uh, shit I got introduced to either came from wrestling or video games. Mm. I think mine was just from the fact them that video, them Tony Hawk soundtracks, like half of the rock bands I know came from that motherfucker. Um, so. We had like bootleg cable, and mm-hmm. the only music channel I got in my room was VH1. And this is when VH1 was like yeah, see, I ain't Caucasian. Even like, yeah. before, like, but I only had four channels. So, pop like, up video. Yeah, I was watching pop up video. <laughs> I was watching We Love the 80s. I was like, yeah. Like, fucking see, I didn't behind have that the, in the music. Crib. We had the box, channel 19. Mm. And that was the shit. And they didn't even play vi- uh, music videos all day. Mm-hmm. They played it like you had to call and order the music video. Or somebody had to call and order right, a music right, video. Right, right, right. And then, like, it wasn't really a lot of black music getting played on that because niggas couldn't afford it. Just I was not putting that shit on my grandma's phone bill. I'm fucking weak. Because that's how you order it. You, you just put it on the phone bill. Remember, that everything used to go on the phone bill. Right. And they just bill you that way. But, yeah. But then we did eventually... Um, for a little bit of time, get the get the brown box with channel ninety nine and hey, ninety six yeah. <laughs> and all the pay per view shit. So that's when we used to do the little fight parties and shit. That was bad when shit was easy, man. You just need a right. little chip in the box and the shit was unlocked. You can watch whatever pay per view movies and shit, and you good. Sound like they was wrestling. <laughs> as long as they don't wrestle in this motherfucker, right? Whatever they do out there is what they do out there. Right. As long as they don't come in this bitch wrestling. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. <laughs> I'm just having this shit. Look, <laughs> go head on with the bullshit, man. You know, <laughs> not, nothing is funnier than when you're too tired to like really interject and you know you need to. <laughs> yeah. And go ahead with that bullshit, man. Hey, man, y'all chill out, y'all man. Chill out, man. I ain't getting up to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all just, just hear my voice. I <laughs> need y'all to just hear my voice. Especially when you just sit back, up. you sitting back like, come on, bro. <laughs> chill out, man. That's me with my son. Like, man. Yo, just relax. You it seems like this nigga has the most him. energy when I don't. 
chill on him. But when I feel like playing, this nigga don't want to play. He get mad and want to fuss and shit. You don't respect his autonomy. Fuck that nigga. That's crazy what you ain't. Love you, Jaja. Right. <laughs> Shout out my nigga. You can only say fuck them kids if you actually take care of your kids. You oh, can't say, yeah. Yeah, no. That's wild shit to say <laughs> if you are, like, not taking care of your children. Yeah, you can only say, that's, I've, I've always told niggas, I've been telling niggas that for years. You can only say fuck them kids if you actually take care of them. Shout if you don't, me, if you don't actually boy. take care of your children, that's my camera. If you don't actually take care of your children, you say fuck them kids, you're going to jail. That's neglect, nigga. Or. So, now you ain't gonna really go to jail, but. Or I'm gonna say because there's a lot of niggas that say fuck them kids and, and really just be out here just saying fuck them. them kids. It is what it don't is. see their kids until they got them. Walk across that motherfucking uh, stage to accept that NFL contract. Then all of a sudden, niggas, oh, yeah, that's my that's my boy. Hakeem, Hakeem, you are with me? No. Yo, I seen a skit, and, like, niggas was making fun of that. Like, yo, see, you wouldn't have been, if I was in your life, you wouldn't have been this. That shit is wild to say. <laughs> it's like. That's some crazy shit, though. And it's, a, it's, a, it's like one of the most fucked up truths. Because they probably wouldn't. If you a piece, you got this piece of shit ass nigga, he probably wouldn't have pushed you to do none of this sports shit. Absolutely not. No, absolutely not. He wouldn't do it. But you still that. can get the fuck away from me, though. Definitely have to get the fuck away from me, though. <laughs> nigga, Good thank God. you, but fuck off. Listen. I ain't got no rap. <laughs> I ain't got no rap for you, my nigga. I'm weak. I th- I, my son is at that age now where I can start having like those conversations that make sense. <laughs> so I told him, like, because he was talking about he was so hungry. And I'm like, there's food down there. Like, you just need to go put the food together. Like, you're at yeah. that, Like, we're at that age. Like, I, oh, that whole, like, pre-made everything. Oh, no, my guy. At 13, that is a whole stove. You use real knives. Yeah. We got a whole air fryer. <laughs> You was living life, okay? I was out here about to burn the house down trying to fry french fries, okay? Because no one told me you're not supposed to fry them with the ice on them, okay? No one told me. So, yeah, he, anyway, like, he's, so like, burnt out starving, there? huh? How's almost burnt down? He's like, he's like, I'm starving. I'm the second and third. I said, let me tell you something. There's food downstairs. You just need to put it together. And I'm going to let you know right now that if you pick up music and if you ever had, if I ever hear a fucking rap about you saying that you was hungry, had to get it out the fucking mud because mama ain't had no food at the house. I'm going to beat <laughs> the fucking brakes off of you, wherever you are. I don't give a damn. Hey, man, it's just entertainment. I, it's only entertainment. Entertain these hands, okay? So he can rap about killing niggas. He can I rap about selling bricks. He just better not play, fix play his Play with anybody else. Don't play with me. Play with something safe. Don't play with me, okay? <laughs> I don't give a damn what you do. Dom the monk shit like that. Like that. <laughs> Boss. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my nigga Beans. <laughs> you can lie about selling dope, nigga, but don't ever tell him that your don't mama you, starves you. Yeah, don't you ever tell him I starved you. Like, <laughs> if you 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 better be telling the truth on it. Cause at least at that point there's some truth to I'm just telling y'all niggas I sold dope because I I felt like it. My mama did a great she shit. She did a great job, okay? Cause the fact that you know what short ribs taste like, sir, you you I I head butter. I on God, fire too. they are. Them shit's fire too. They are. They are. I made oxtails recently, but you. I saw don't want to hear this. You saw that. You didn't bring them. I could not. <laughs> I could not. You didn't bring shit. Thirty two ninety eight for the pack. I'm gonna send you my plug. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna send you my plug. <laughs> Cause when I tell you, Man. I just sat there and looked at them. And they not the like big oversized ones where you only get four. Mm-mm, no, no, no. That one, they weren't oversized. That, you get that, them by the pound. I got you. Yeah, I, yeah, I see you. Yeah. I see you. I, see I, you I appreciate you. Cause Cause listen, see you the plug. Cause listen, listen, Linda. <laughs> I might be able to get some plates. Some I just plates miss. Out I just here. miss when um black food wasn't gentrified. Cause I remember Bruh. oxtail was like three ninety nine a and, pound. And you know what? To be fair, let me let me just say this, okay? I don't care what anybody says. We gentrified our oxtail too, because the minute that y'all raggedy ass Negroes got up there and got that damn oxtail fucking Philly, like who the fuck is eating oxtail and fucking cheese? That shit makes that shit yo, nauseates me so bad. On, Texture alone. Nah, yo, my homegirl makes them and she sells out every time. That's cool. So like, that's great. No, nah, the crazy shit I is. I understand. No, I'm just saying. So there must. I haven't. I haven't had one, but I've heard nothing but good reviews. Ooh. And like, so there must be some kind of market for that shit. But then also like with there's a, a Philly, market for there's a market for all types. But of shit I mean, that I don't shit. Like. 
technically like lemon seafood, pepper wings are disgusting. Yeah, I don't fuck with them either. But like seafood, sour and like, salty. Seafood, like, <laughs> seafood fillies like shouldn't go like no. Fish and but them shit such so they. But, they but if it's shrimp, shrimp don't count. No, I got I got a salmon one one time. Salmon and that doesn't shit count. Was, it does. Because salmon and cheese don't really go together unless it's like crusted Parmesan cheese or some no, shit like that. No, bechamel sauce, melted over. I, I get that. I don't even speak English. What is that? <laughs> it's cheese sauce. <laughs> anyway, I get I get cheese and salmon that because it's a, because no, but, it's, but, a, it's a heartier flavor. That makes yeah, sense. It's not a, it stands it's not up a, to it. Yeah. It, it, the only reason why you don't want to put cheese and fish together is because she, because the fish tends to be delicate. You want it to stand Not my up fish. to it. Not around my niggas. No. Listen, oh my God, I had some Chilean sea bass. Yo, oh, that shit is cracked. But <sighs> you know the crazy thing though, it might just be the it might just be the country nigga in me or whatever the case. But like, like I love like the upscale fish, like you know yeah, yeah, yeah. bass and you know what I mean all that. But like, ain't that like some good fried whiting? Oh, absolutely. That's somebody fried outside. Bitch, outside. <laughs> some, and some grease that may or may not be old. <laughs> that shit might have been there from the last cookout. Listen. But you know, some fried catfish that you now I'm saying, like, nigga, I need that. I need I need time, I need you know, all the can, can I tell you a proud Alabama moment for me? What's that? The most Alabamian shit that you can do. So, you know, like, first off, when we outside, like, respectfully, war eagle is is what I say. Now my family is roll tied, so when I go down there for Thanksgiving and my dad like slips in, like he doesn't ask me, by the way, at 33, he does not ask me, do I want to go to anything? He lets me know, hey, just so you know, you're going with your cousin to the Iron Bowl. No, you don't have no choice. And I was like, that's weird because you could have. It... No, because. Whatever. But he was basically. They don't want to make it awkward when you say no and find out that you still have to go anyway. You <laughs> said no. So they just pretty kidding. much letting yeah, you right, know right, that right, you're right, going. Right, right, right. Damn, I'm knocking over the gummy bear. <laughs> So, um, no, but f so if I can end up going, he's like, basically, it's going to be an experience. There's nothing like an iron bowl. Like, there's no tailgating yeah. like the iron bowl tail. Because we just went to the tailgate, by the way. I never went into the actual game. Mm -hmm. Gets in tailgate. It is, this shit is, shit is lit. Like a big. But my Yo. proud Alabamian moment is that not only was that at that tailgate, and it was one of those, like, oh, I know, you. when they saw me, there's like, I know who your cousin is. She over there. <laughs> that shit is great. Um, I was in charge of frying the fish. And let me just say, because everybody was like, who, we got to fry the fish. Who going to fry the fish? And I'm looking around. Anybody want to fry no fish? Give me that goddamn fish. I'll fry that damn fish because I got to earn my keep. And I just like to say, couldn't even keep it on the plate. That's all I'm it saying. It ain't because they was. No. No, 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 no. Forking no. it in the trash can. No, no, no. Right you, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't do that. You'll <laughs> never get another fucking plate from me ever again. And you know I'm serious. That shit's like that. That shit was like that. That shit was. That shit was moving? It was moving. I, I was like, I'm proud of myself. Big That's a good thing, yo, because, like, at tailgates, especially tailgates down in the country, like, they don't play that shit. Yeah, no, nah, let me want to fuck that fish up. Get yeah. your ass off that damn. It could have been one piece. You could have made 200 pieces of fish. If one was fucked up, and, like, whoever got that fucked up piece going to let everybody else know, like, yo, don't. Because they going to keep breaking pieces off that one piece. Like, yo, try this shit. See? I think the funniest thing. Yeah. Because again, we gentrify. We're starting to gentrify ourselves. I think black people just want convenience as well, and we deserve it, right? It's like the mac and cheese. Everybody was talking about, it and they was like, "Oh shit, fire!" Da, 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 only yeah. to find out that it was Chick Fil A's mac and cheese, and someone catered it. That's crazy. The whole time, <laughs> that shit do slap in a pan when you get to cook it yourself. <laughs> when you get your own cheese crust on top, that shit slap. I ain't gonna hold you. I was gonna say. I mean, they probably added some extra shit yeah. to it. And also, too. I was in Alabama, so. Oh, niggas in Alabama using Chick Fil A. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's what I, I said. I need y'all to explain this. Yeah. <laughs> I that's need what I said. to explain oh, this to me, please. <laughs> it was it was a great time though. It was a great time. They had TVs set up in like fucking like the bunkers and shit. Like yeah, that. niggas be having RVs out yeah, there. Yeah, like, whole it's RVs. All, yo, yeah. you you got your whole blow up set up here at the tailgate. Uh, People started camping out. My dad said like two weeks before or a week before they were already camping out like to get their spot in the tailgate. That's how you just know when niggas just got money. Oh, absolutely. That's all I saw. That's all I saw. <laughs> that I, cause, I think about shit different. Like you can take a week. That's off, not like, even that because when you see the inflatables, it kind of automatically triggers like Christmas. And the first thing you say when you see Christmas shit is, "Damn, I know you like Bill High." And that's the first yeah. thing I saw when I saw the inflatables. Like, damn, I know that gas high because that's a propane tank. No and you're doing this shit for a week. Ain't... If you started camping a week or two weeks ago, like, you've been doing this shit for two weeks. Listen. 
Like, yo, just to run, like, generators and shit. That shit ain't cheap. You got to keep that bitch full of gas or whatever the case. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'd be, it be a little wild. It'd be, it'd definitely be a little wild, so... That's that's what those are things. But anyway, that was my Alabama proud moment in frying fish. Is I talk about fish because yeah. they had whiting and catfish. That's all you need at a fish. And the fry. catfish, oh my god! That's all you need at a fish fry. If you want to be <laughs> fake fans, you get a little swy or something. <laughs> I mean, fake fake fans. You know, black people just found out about swy like a year that or two shit ago. Is so crazy. now, everybody. I, it, yeah. was, it was like I saw that food line, and then everybody started talking about it after that. And I was yeah. like, that's a wild ass transition for, for this fish. <laughs> This is worse than the tilapia takeover, but yeah. I'm happy y'all cooled off and, on tilapia yeah. again. Fish like swy, you have to like fry it. Yeah, you it's have not a to. good grilled fish. It's not a good seared fish. No. I tried to do that shit in like 2016 because I seen somebody had it at a cookout, and mm-hmm. I was like, that shit good as a bitch. And then like, oh yeah, you can only fry this though. No, but the king of kings will forever be a, a whiting fillet fried. Yeah, give me a piece of white bread with some hot sauce. Thank you. Make sure you season the batter, please, and the fish. Please, I ain't gonna hold you unless you're lazy as fuck and you just use that red bag mix. But you can just go ahead. That's and still seasoned. That. But you know, you just get away with just doing that. Yeah, you if, to if you bite into the batter and the batter's good, you might look past the fish not being seasoned. If yeah, the, yeah. Every if the time, batter's seasoned enough, yeah, that's every a time, fact. Every time, that's a fact. Every time, because fish, sh- fish is light. So worst case scenario, you chewing on the batter, it's yeah. getting into the fish. That's it. That's and. It. Like, if it's, you know what I mean? I get a little hot sauce. We gonna cure all this shit, regardless of what the fuck this motherfucker, <laughs> regardless of what this shit missing. Oh, my God. I throw a little Texas Pete on this bitch. We straight. When I went out to eat last night, we had a raw bar. Mm-hmm. You know, with the oysters and all the other stuff. And it was funny because, like, I raw oysters are fine, right? Yeah. It fucked me up when, it was, when I saw the raw clams because... Did you do it? No, I couldn't. I don't know. I'm I'm not a big raw clam girl, and I like clams cooked. Yeah. But the raw clams. You I like, like I like all that shit cooked. You have raw oysters. Yeah, yeah. They have to be salty. Like I have to be able to taste the salt water in raw. Oysters. Yeah, no, 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 no. They were they were delicious. Yeah, but if they're like, not salty, I it was can't only funny them. because it was like it was ordered, but they was like, oh, I got it. Like, thinking that you was going to eat this. I was like, yeah, but it's 15 oysters. And I immediately started thinking about Shorty Girl. <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> you ain't about to put me on TikTok, it's nigga. It's not even that. It's not even to put me on TikTok. It's just solely off of the fact, like, I cannot imagine myself sitting here eating 15 oysters yeah. personally. But if you was at the crib... No! 15 I, oysters ain't shit. Uh, for me? Yo, when I lived in the Louisiana, yo, we used to go to Louisi- this spot. I, stop. I actually, I'm not even going to say that. Thank so you. So I used to go, um, no, nah, I was about to say the name of the establishment, but they don't pay us. Um, But we used to go there. They used to have motherfucking half off Oyster Rockefellers, mm. and they used to have them like three ways, mm. like every Monday. Mm. So, nigga, I'm getting, and you get 10. I meant 12. So I'm getting two dozen of them shits Listen. every time, every trip. With my meal. Eating oyster Rockefeller, eating, like, I even had, like, a spinach artichoke oyster. hmm Delicious, by the way. Yeah. And that's h- kind of how they came, yeah. Yeah. So, that's cool, right? But to eat 15 raw oysters, like, texture-wise for me? Oh, yeah. No. Okay. So I'm a, I must have just misunderstood. Not yeah. raw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, raw? That's that's it. Because you gotta shuck them, you gotta pop them over. Well, no, because they're already shucked. But it's the fact that it's the texture for me. Because yeah, that's crazy. I'm day, I'm trying to bypass the whole bleh. that part of it. Yeah, bleh. but yeah, bleh. I thought you meant like you got cooked ones. No, like it's. I just said it's raw bar. Yeah, yeah. So um, and they have muscles. Of but I thought you, you got, some raw bars. I might be wrong. I thought they had cooked food at some raw bars. They do. Though. They do. Okay. They do. Okay. So, I knew I so won't. Like, okay. So like, there was muscles. I just had to make sure I won't trip. Yeah. No, okay. no. 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 You're not. So they have muscles, and the muscles were cooked. They had green. They had green muscles, and yeah. those were cooked. I, I I let them get their shit off on the, with the muscles because like they don't eat the they don't eat the other shit at all. Yeah. So I'm like that's. That's rude of me to not let you have the thing that you eat. That's crazy. Like, it's not that serious for yeah. me. Um, and then they had crab legs. And here's the thing about the crab legs. Here's my thing about crab legs, okay? I can't do cold crab legs. I try. I Who the get fuck it. eats cold crab legs? That's what comes on the raw bar because as soon as it's steamed, this guy over here. Yeah. Of course you do. Of course you do. No, I don't mean like, so I don't mean like you've been chilling and they like been sitting out. I mean like you take them out the refrigerator cold and just eat them like that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. Yeah, that's crazy. That's next level. That's crazy. Listen, so here's no, my... No, I'm going to just re-steam them real quick and then... Here's my thing, right? This shit takes like two here's minutes. Here's my thing. Literally. The people judge me for eating cold fried chicken, which I thought was completely normal. 
I mean, yo, yo, no, I was about to, I was actually about to big you up because you like, nigga, you from the islands and you from Alabama. <laughs> like, <laughs> True. So, She's all nigga is what I'm saying. So pre- like cold pre- chicken is like that, yeah. predisposed to doing these things. So like I eat cold chicken, like whatever, cool. Cold but chicken like, is different. Cold like, crab I think all legs, black people eat cold and chicken. And I think it's because the idea that I know that you have to cook this in order to eat this, right? Yeah. Cool. Once it's cooked, we have to do so many things to eat it, right? Like because this is the vessel. It's not like. It's not like I put this in something and then, you know, yeah. I don't know. It, it, give, it gives, like, quadruple cooking to me. <laughs> and the texture-wise fucks me up. So, like, when it's, like, automatically chilled, I'm just like, ugh. Like, yeah. I don't know. It just doesn't. I mean, that's kind of how I am with cocktail shrimp. Like, I don't Yo, really it, like it cold shrimp. Cocktail, really it had like cocktail shrimp. shrimp it like it that. always gives that bounce back. Like, I don't like the fact that it yeah, feels really like it's fighting it. back. Yeah. It like, feels like it's fighting back. I don't want back. no cold shrimp. Doesn't no, it no. when you when you bite into it because it bounces? It feels like it's fighting yeah. back. Like oh bitch, I'm, only... I'm a dead and I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, now it's only one thing that I can do cold shrimp in, and it's, it's pasta salad. Oh yeah, little mini. Yeah, little that shrimp, like, but yeah. that's but outside of that, like cold oh, shrimp. I, I lied, I lied, I lied. I can do a shrimp salad, like like the um, Vitamin does it. Like they have a lobster salad. Oh yeah, so when I get my lobster rolls, I get mine with butter, not mayonnaise. So I don't know nothing about none of that. Oh. Yeah, like my crab rolls, all that shit. Like I get the, I get the. You can get them with butter, so they warm, mm. and they they like super lightly toasted bun. And buns is already soft as hell. Yeah, so it's no, like no. yeah. I did a whole listen. I did a whole. So yeah, I do that, that shit. shit. Yeah, I do that shit. I do mine warm. Okay. No, I I don't mind. I I, I don't mind like. I, I guess I don't mind it in the context of as long as it's in a salad it just gotta make sense yeah but like you want me to crack this motherfucker cold i don't even yeah. like, well i don't like the fact that i'm touching it cold it's so many sensory things that are just <laughs> happening that i mean I'm it's like potato okay salad with. it's not seafood but like cope this we literally but eat cold potatoes. i i am and nigga we love that i know i do i fuck I potato love, i, I, I fuck potato, potato salad, salad up but i also am a firm i'm a firm potato salad eater to the point where i eat warm and cold like i'll take it either way like yeah i don't those i don't warm, know if i've ever had warm yeah, potato yeah, salad yeah. on purpose mm. like i've had it to where like you know when you get a cookout plate you take it to go and yeah you, and she get warm so you scoop a little bit of it <laughs> out but it's still like that little it's bit of potato salad cool. that you because it's like it's, it's in there with the green it's, it's, only, it's connected to the baked beans it's so you only can't, cool if it, yeah. gets, if it has like a piece of egg in it, because then it's like you know the egg yeah. kind of tastes better. Like it was a boy egg, so <laughs> right. Uh, so, but yeah, it's like connected. To, it's stuck to the baked beans, and you don't want to scoop right. the baked beans out and eat them cold because that's nasty. Yeah, no, that's so it's just that's like all right. But, 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 mm, so I eat the potato salad warm that way. Cold baked beans, that's not nasty. I have. I have no have and do is not the I same have thing. And do. I think it's because I I that's, have done a lot of okay, shit okay, that okay, I won't okay, okay. that, that I don't that, do. To be fair, that might be the, that might be the island part because I'll eat cold beans too. Well, y'all eat beans with everything. Yeah, so it's like like rice. I'll eat rice cold. I can eat rice cold. Yeah, I can eat rice cold. Yeah. I mean, it's a few things I can eat cold. Obviously, cold cuts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Cut fucking with you. Tape. But no, nah, <laughs> um, nah, certain shit though. Like, like I, I love eat, how I'm I can eat turkey cold. I can eat not. turkey cold. Like Thanksgiving, <laughs> like Thanksgiving style turkey, I can eat that cold. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Any type of any once it's roasted, I'm peeling that shit yeah. off. Like I can eat um like corned beef and shit like that. I can eat that cold. There's certain shit I can eat cold that's like not. Some it's the seafood. It's the seafood fighting back. That's what it is. I don't like that for me. Yeah, I'm not cool. I'm I'm not really big on eating. But cold it wasn't. A, but it made me sad because it was a really well flavored thing, and the oysters were actually really really good. Yeah. Because they're in season right now. So shout out to oysters. If you like oysters, yeah. If you like oysters, now's the time. And you know, um, Whole Foods does like what is it, like fifty cent oysters or something like that, or dollar oysters. I'm gonna have to go see what the fuck they talking about. Yeah. Cause Whole Foods don't never have shit on the deal. No, that's they have a Friday. Hold on, I gotta look out. They have a Friday deal on oysters, and I know Harpoon Larry's also has a deal on oysters. Yeah, we'll figure that. Um, shit. Speaking of deals, let's get into this. Um, this Kanye shit. That shit he did at the Super Bowl. Okay. So I don't know if it was, 
I mean, I, it, it was definitely genius, but I don't know if it was genius by design or if the internet, like, does made, what the internet does and, and like, b- made it seem like it was and, and break it down and, like, Kanye ain't have nothing to do with none of the shit that they broke down. But it was actually dope, though, um, the shit that they broke down. So, like, <laughs> what's the breakdown? So, you know, he spent $7 million on the Super Bowl commercial mm-hmm. and he got $19 million in sales. So, oh, doing that $20 shit? So everything on the website is twenty dollars. Right. The shoes, the shirts, the pants, mm-hmm. like just literally everything. The socks, mm-hmm. everything was twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. So the the little the little shit that I had seen that I had looked at was the reason why everything was twenty dollars. He wanted to see what sold more. Mm-hmm. If everything is the same price, you can count. You can really gauge what is actually selling. Right versus what's what like, what what you're making the most profit off of. Yeah, versus what's your what's based off of affordability. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, all right, everything's twenty dollars. So we know that the the shoes, the slides, or whatever the fuck, they mm. sold like three times more than everything else. Mm. So it's like, all right, we know we got something with this. But then, like, what the next two things was, like, it's easier to gauge the analytics of how shit is selling and all of that. Mm. Um, also, like. The commercial was just him talking in his phone. No production budget. It was literally the front-facing camera. It wasn't even like he set the bitch on a tripod or nothing. It was front-facing camera, him in the whip, talking in the phone, and then that was just, that was the commercial. I mean, to be fair, Kanye has made an impeccable living out of doing seemingly regular shit and doing it just at the worst times. And... (laughs) It makes sense because realistically, it's not like Kanye has done anything that's like not supposed to be done. He just does it at the most inopportune times, yeah. to, mainly as an inconvenience. He's a disruptor, right? So, him, by design, he's a disruptor. him making a commercial like that is on par. It's very much. Yeah. Why would he do anything else? Why? Yeah. Why would he give you what y'all think he's gonna give you? Because y'all swear up and down he's this. Well, no, so it was more so, the the commercial was just more so, it was a Super Bowl commercial, so right. that's why it cost that much. Right, you, so you're paying for, pay the for the slot. slot. Yeah, you're paying yeah. for the slot. Um, but, I mean, the shit worked. Like, and once I paid for the slot, I ain't gonna hold you. That was also, like, some old black mama shit, because, baby, once I pay for this, once I put this money down here, and Yeah, I'm not for paying this, for niggas to edit this shit. This, nope. Nah. No, 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 no. This I it. pay for the slot, so whatever the fuck I say we put in that slot is what the fuck, fuck we put in, in that slot. slot. Because could you it. imagine him in the meeting and they're like, no, we need to say this, motherfucker, did you pay $7 million? I felt like that was his speech. Yeah. That would be my speech. But I mean, <laughs> if I, well, I would spend $7 million to get 19 I would spend $7 million to get 19 That's a nice flip. For sure. Yeah, I mean, I'd spend $7 to get 19 Dollars, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? For like, sure. What are we talking about? Like, I would also be upset if I lost nineteen dollars. Like, did you have you seen that meme going around? Like, where it's like, ugh, growing up is understanding like a thousand dollars isn't a lot of money to have, but it's a lot of money to owe. Yeah, it's a lot of money, yeah, nigga. Imagine getting a thousand dollar bill right now that you won't expect it. I said that shit on Twitter. <laughs> Look X. at his face. It's just like you got me fucked up. Cause what? That's what I'm saying, yo. I I said that shit on Y'all X. Y'all got an extension. Yeah, I said that shit on X. Like, yo, niggas keep saying such and such ain't a lot of money. Lose it. If you lose that amount, it's going to fuck your day up. Listen, I'm pissed off if I lose a dub. I ain't going to hold you. I've lost a dub in the parking lot of my job, and nigga, the wind took it. The wind. And I, I just won't fast enough. It was, yo, you remember? <laughs> I have to show you this TikTok. Yo, we have to. We you have remember to look when at this we shit. had that strong ass motherfucking windstorm? Yes. Like a month or two ago. Oh, yeah. Nigga. Okay. Right. It was no catching that. Get the fuck. Listen. So, the reason why that shit is so funny. So, I don't know if you've been seeing like this whole like thing going around with like on on like TikTok and like the short form videos where the Nigerians are talking about like how dramatic they are when they have conversations. Have you seen that? I've seen a couple of them. Okay. If this, it's the same one I'm thinking about. This one that I saw has me so weak because when you talk about like the wind was the gaunt and took it, it yeah. was fast. Like one of the things that he said that his dad was saying, like he, he's like, my dad doesn't call anyone dumb. He says, <laughs> hey, yo, chill out. I'm crying. He says, wisdom is chasing her. And she's but just she running, is yeah, faster. She's just fast, running faster. <laughs> yeah. I seen that. Yeah, that's the one I saw too. And, um, Cause what? 
Nah, Why in general conversation are you talking like this? That's how I know that nigga Shakespeare was a nigga. <laughs> That nigga just made up his own words. He literally made up words. And everybody was just like, fuck it. I'm going to fuck with it. <laughs> but y'all looked at us crazy because we got bling bling in the dictionary. Yeah, no, to niggas, can, bullshit off. niggas can make up their own shit. Word for cool. art thou. But you look at me crazy because I say conversate instead of converse. <laughs> that just hurts. Why? Because white people told us that we not supposed to say that? Mm-mm, subject pronouns. Nah, way the vowels on some out. real shit though. But on some real shit though, like... People say, like, um, conversate is not a word, right? Well, I mean, it is now because they finally made it one. But now that it's one, like, it's right. a word now. So, right. like, at some point, every single word was not a word. It's not It's not the it, – it, I've never looked at conversate as if it wasn't a word. It was just in the wrong pretense. Yeah. I mean, yo, so I've you, been – Does that I've make been, sense? I've like, been checked a lot, like, by older people. Conversate is not a word. It's converse. You should say con- – like, they need to take that shit serious. You need yeah, to speak because, proper English. Because someone like, did that English to them. Proper English ain't even our native someone language. Someone did but. that to them. <laughs> and look at how that worked out for them. Your name is Gerald, and it starts with a fucking G, and everyone's fucking confused when they come here from other countries. Welcome to the fucking U.S. Hey, Gittled. Like, that's not my fucking name, fam. Yeah, but that's exactly <laughs> what it says to them. So, like, can we, can, like, it, the fact that English is also, like, the hardest fucking language to pick up as a second language, and we talk about, we go, and then we have the audacity to go to other countries and be like, why are y'all sound so weird? Like, yeah. have y'all thought about this? Like, our words mean the same shit five times over. Yeah, so we read have... in a different, read with a different subject verb. <laughs> yeah. But look, so the fucked red up thing. being one of them. Fuck that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yo, the fucked up thing is we have a bunch of words that mean the same thing that don't, Sound nothing alike, but then we have words that literally have identical pronunciation that mean totally different things. Yeah, two, two, and two, fucking just like it's a bunch of the fucking homophones. Like them shits, the same fucking word. It's a homophones. Different. The more you know, <laughs> like you gotta you gotta put a rainbow for that. Like yeah, like uh, <laughs> so I would understand how that shit confusing. Listen, I'm good on that because even for some shit, when I be listening to it, it's the same reason when we say it's the same reason we've been spelling words for forever. But when we go to spell them, we are so unsure of ourselves because words that will continuously fuck me up no matter what. I will never be able to spell maintenance. It's maintenance. Doesn't matter what you say. It's never going to stick. Maintenance. Can't spell maintenance. Um, What else? Restaurant is mine. Restaurant? I'm never spelling restaurant right. I'm with think- Patrice O'Neill. If a nigga put a gun in my head right now and told me to spell restaurant, I'm out of here. I think about... I'm out of here. Exercise? Exercise? You put a C after the X, don't you? Nigga, <laughs> 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 I don't know what the fuck. Something just happens, nigga. That's like niggas who can't spell receive because they keep fucking up the I and the E. And I before E except after C is bullshit. Too. It is bullshit. It's like, it's it is the bullshit. dumbest it is fucking the, shit it is ever. Actually, because it's an, it's a, there is an exception to the rule, of course. It's a lot of it's, it's a lot of words that the fucking E comes before the I, and there's no man. Mm, it's unfortunate. Here we are. Meanwhile, yeah. we're over here uh, mad because they have feminine and masculine pronouns. <laughs> Yo, hey, <laughs> hey is for horses. Hey is for horses. Wait the fuck a minute. And they have masculine and feminine pronouns in other languages when they're speaking. How does this work for the alphabet? I don't know. I I don't I have no idea. Oh, I am crying. That is You tickle like a motherfucker oh right now. Though. So. <laughs> because it's like you know, it's so like serious like I am, you know, I'm this. Like, you need to refer to me as this. But, like, if the language... It's a senorita, not senor. Yes, like... (laughs) I identify as senorita. Or if you have to identify them as they in Spanish, like, that's, like... I don't know. I think it's really just an American or English thing. I wonder... Oh, do you think so? Yo, this is a genuine question. Don't cancel this. Please, that is a (laughs) genuine fucking question. Is... Pronouns just an American thing? Like, is that because it? Because when you speak in other languages, everything is is subjugated by a feminine and masculine pronoun. Yeah. So, so is that is that just an American thing? 
I haven't been abroad since the uh, since COVID, so I don't, I don't know. know. It's not. I don't even. Think and that shit really picked well, I up. I don't. No, no, no. Let me not say is that just an American thing. Let me say is has it changed in other languages aside okay. from English? Because obviously, pro subject the su we have certain subject even pronouns. In, even we don't have don't, subject pronouns, but we lean things to can be considered feminine based yeah. off of what we think is feminine, which is the dumbest sh shit ever. Which is also weird because then they say things can't be feminine or masculine, but then you have the language that says that it's feminine. I don't know. All this shit be anyway. making my head hurt, man. Yeah, it I does. Just it does, Learn, but that, that it makes our head hurt as people who speak English. So, because yeah. everybody else gets it, <laughs> and it's it very much be given like that's why y'all niggas <laughs> use inches and <laughs> everybody else uses this. Yeah, like, we never like this metric system shit is not happening. It's, it's not gonna never, happen. It's you, not gonna happen. You remember America. when they tried to convert? You remember like that whole like shebang? Like I know you've seen like the news articles about when they tried to convert. Like when we tried to use like. The international system and that yeah. shit was just like yo so one they thing revolted that, that shit was like worse than the boston tea party apparently yeah. like, <laughs> one thing that we're not gonna do is come like we're not gonna have one world currency and we're not gonna have one world way to do just anything because then that's when we fuck that's when shit that's why a lot of shit is going how it is because like so a lot of these countries um are owned by the world bank so so with that being said, is that why all do would you consider that all the subjects that require to use the same be fucked because it requires it to be used the same? No, like I, like medicine. Medicine is required in medicine. You were using Latin everything like this. You were using this measurement. It is in millimeters. It is in this for everything. Like you know ounces, yeah. whatever. So would would that be, is maybe that's why the I mean, field is so is so. Anybody can do whatever the fuck they want to do because, like, it's fucking twenty, like thirteen in Ethiopia right now. Like, it's like, well, like twenty fifteen. Like, man, time is man. -made that's what I'm saying. So people can really just do what the fuck they want to do. Yeah, it's like it's whatever you tend to tell yourself to believe, which is why I also don't tell people what. Again. Yeah, because they don't go by the Gregorian calendar, or they do yeah. and we don't. One, one, one of the one two. two. One of the two. Yeah. Like either they do and the rest of the world don't, or they don't and the rest of the world does. But either either way, way, like yeah, they they. Oh niggas. Like nigga, we not changing our calendar because this nigga Caesar said we doing that. Like he like, don't even run our country. Right. Fuck 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 uh July and August. Fuck, fuck Augustus. Caesar. Fuck July. Fuck, fuck Augustus. August. Yeah. Hey, Cause it's, he just named it months after like his family members. Yeah. August is Augustus. Fucking like everybody, every, all mm. them shit was named after somebody. That's why all the other shit. Mm. September. It's the ninth month. Like it was all. That was it. Like it's all like all the other shits is like numbers, like after that, because it was only ten months. They added the other two. It was July for him, and and his brother Augustus was August. You, you know, that. Julius Julius July. That's where July came from. No, no, no. I was thinking about the numbers, and I was like, but oct octo wouldn't that be eight? Yeah. In October, it was the eighth month. So they added two months into the year. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So October was the eighth month, not okay. the tenth month. Right. And you know. This is heavy down that. November, part. Nueve, this, nine. This is this is heavy down that fucking side of TikTok that I try to stay away from. Because <laughs> eventually I get to the nigga that starts yelling in the camera. <laughs> you know the Q dog fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say the second part because you'll definitely get canceled. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like that shit, the religious Q dogs. That's wild. Yeah, them niggas be wilding. Bark, literally barking at you. But yeah, the hey yo, the wildest shit that I've ever said to him, and it's it's not a good response. I don't feel good about it, but that <laughs> shit was wild because he's like he's like basically like telling the women like all y'all are pretty much <laughs> going down sad because y'all don't y'all won't get men to let you lead you find you husband you know get you closer guy thing you know like that yeah. and so you know me my assholeness and so I asked him I was like well. <clears throat> so what about your mother? He paused <laughs> and started to like go in on his mother and how she could have been a better woman too <laughs> if hey she would have got a man. Got and I was just like, talk oh, about, you thought, talk you about, stick, cut cards? talk like, about, stick to gonna... the fucking script, okay? It's, talk about, <laughs> he gonna stick, stand on what the fuck he's saying. Talk on, about, stick regardless to the of who the fuck you talk script. about. My man, one hundred grand. I really he he. It's like he genuinely thought about it for a second. Like, am I gonna shit on my mother? 
in the for name the of the Lord. Content? Yep. Absolutely. And I'm like, Jesus, ain't no way. How you a town stomp on your mama's entire integrity? <laughs> That lady, you still going to her house on Sunday. That's crazy. Not no more. <laughs> Not no more. I went, like, could you imagine? Not on her property. Could you imagine, like, not if, around some, her if, nigga if, like if it was, like, one of her church members? Because I have to assume she's obviously not in it when he talked about it like that, right? Could you imagine one of her church members walking by and, like, I, I, I saw Gerald. <laughs> and, um, he has some interesting things to say. <laughs> like, like, what? Like, what do we do with that? That's Did so she just start asking you about personal shit that ain't nobody supposed to know about that this nigga done spewed on the internet? Yo, that is disgusting. Like, I I felt so bad. Again, ties back to, son, you can rap about anything in this world, but boy, keep my name out. Your, I, I will, like, I legitimately already have predisposed beef with my son. And I ain't gonna front, so though. Please. Them, like... We ain't had no food in the kitchen songs be fire, nigga. Them we be ain't the... had no food in the kitchen. Like, them shit be, be fire. I will beat your ass. Hey, he might be rapping about that one day that you didn't go grocery shopping. But that, that, that might, that, that's all it is. He, he just reliving that one day. Like, some niggas relive that one rock they sold when they was 22. He can articulate to you why he has never had jelly but has had jam. So I need for <laughs> all of the cap to stop, Okay. <laughs> The fact that my child yeah, he argued, gonna throw the shades on, he gonna go on Vlad, he gonna be like, yeah, I mean, you know, my mama made the jam because that's the only way we could afford it. You know, she uh, made the jam from scratch because I it couldn't was, afford it was, the pectin. It was it was cheaper. No, <laughs> so she just I couldn't afford the fucking. Couldn't so she the just gelatin. made the motherfucking jam herself. I, I throw chop that nigga, please, please, please understand that, please. I I choose violence continuously. You can get you a mansion with them lies. He, I don't want a fucking mansion. <laughs> Can, do, do you want? Would you? Do you, would you really want like a fucking fifteen bedroom house? No, fifteen though. No. Okay, so hear me out, right? 15, nah. So all I think about when those houses are real big is like them fucking squatters that live on the other side of the house, but you don't know it because you don't know what the fuck is going on inside the house. Especially if you party a lot. Because then, like, you're going to throw a party one night, and then you're going to see the squatters, <laughs> and they're going to be at the <laughs> party, and you ain't going to think nothing of it. Yo, that's what I'm saying. And, and like, now they, they good. Like, you just like, oh, yeah, that's... That's, that's, that's Slim Homeboys. And Slim gonna be like, one day, randomly, like three months down the line, like, I don't know them I niggas. I don't know bro. them niggas. They like, was here when I got here. They always here at the party, bro. Like, bro, they've been here since you left. I thought they was cool. Like, I right. was letting them kick it. Like, nigga, I never, I met them when you met them. I hate to fucking see it. But no, but seriously, <laughs> that's like one of my biggest fears is like getting one of those houses. That's nah, too so big. me personally, I'm more, I'm more so want land than house size. I want more so land and house size. Mm -hmm. right, 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 right. Like, give me acres. Right, right, right. I'm cool with. You want to play? You want to play around on the land? The yeah. House ain't and the be biggest, big. the biggest I would probably want out of a crib is probably about five. Yeah. Like five of them things. Five bedrooms. Because then I gotta clean up. Like the more bedrooms, yeah. the more you got to clean up. Yeah, and, and, and see that you gotta have more kids, and Lord knows you gotta get to the growth stage to get them. Nah, because I can find I can find shit to do with the extra bedrooms. It's just like I don't need a bunch of bathrooms. Like two or three is cool. If I'm like rich and like that, like right, right, right. two or three is cool. Especially if three. one is in my room. But then like that's more shit you got to clean up. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. The cleaning aspect is definitely what keeps me whole. Yeah. Absolutely what keeps me whole now. So But yeah, man, we've been in this bitch for a good little minute. It's we about it's about that. time to motherfucking wrap up. So we are. You know, at the end of every shit, we go in with our final thoughts and shit. And our final thought obviously has does not have to be anything that had anything to do with anything that we talked about tonight. I had to get it out. I had to, I had to see it through, my girl. <laughs> I had to see it through. So you being a guest host, I'm going to let you go ahead and... Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um. What's my final thought? What's my final thought? What's my final thought? Oh. Listen. Hey. He's not pretending not to like you, sis. Men don't play hard to get. That, that man does not like you. Be safe out there. <laughs> he he ain't that busy. That's what you saying? Baby, no men don't play hard to get. He just does not like you. That's all. Might drop. <laughs> oh no, oh, oh, oh. Comma. There's no such thing as mean girls after the age of thirty. Yeah, you they just, just like don't like you. you. They just <laughs> don't like point, you. Yeah. <laughs> they just don't like you. Work on yourself. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> the more you know, the more you grow. Right. Um, 
Mine is stop accommodating. Like stop accommodating. Because like most people be wanting to really do something and then like they'll hit people they want to do it with and they can't do it. So it's like, all right, I'm just not going to do it now. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like people come and they suck the fun out of the shit that you're doing and like Mm -hmm. their presence not being there would have been better for the situation, for this Mm -hmm. particular situation. But you accommodate that is backwards. It's (laughs) fucked. Did we get that? No. Did we get that on that one? Did we get that on that one? I'm so sleepy. That's okay. <laughs> All right, let me sit back and tell you. But no, stop accommodating. Like, you not doing shit that you want to do, that you genuinely want to do because other people don't want to do it. So you accommodate. The situation, the situation to make yeah. them comfortable in doing it. Like, no, just go either do that shit dolo or find people that you fuck with that like to do that Hell, shit. Yo, legitimately, like, whatever it is. That has been my entire <laughs> yeah. life lately. That's why I ain't got no friends. Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, I tell people, like, you not leveling up where you want to be because, like, other people don't want to walk your path with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So Everybody's not going to yeah. be like. You got to either yeah. let them level up with you. And that don't mean level up like you getting more money. I'm just, just whatever. Like, you can be leveling up your interests. You can be leveling up your hobbies. It don't. It ain't got nothing to do with like finances and shit. It's just. It's okay. It's, just, it's okay uh, to find. Tri- it's okay to expand because that's how you find tribe. Yeah. And your tribe isn't always gonna like all the same shit. So there's that. So and that's it. That's it. Like, I mean, you can always like st- keep fucking with them the same way you fuck with them. Just right. when it comes to certain shit in your life. Whether it do be finances or it be a hobby or it just be whatever the fuck, like enjoy your shit, stick stick with it, do do the fuck you gotta do, like mm-hmm. stop accommodating other people's shit because everybody's not gonna be interested in everything that you interested in. Nope, and and that's how you find you gotta find like little pockets of communities. That's not, it. Everybody's not gonna be your everything. Yeah. So stop having that expectation of people. And that's the thing, like you gotta just like you said, <coughs> find your tribe. Yeah. I have. I don't have a lot of friends, but like most of my friends that I do have, mm-hmm. yeah, we all share certain common interests. But I like I have friends that I can hit that could just go do certain shit with. You know what I'm saying? You should. Like I I can't call none of my niggas from out the park and be like, yo, let's. I'm trying to you know what I mean jump on this kayak. Some of them might do it because they never did it, and like niggas just be wanting to do just different shit. Right, just be trying shit, just be trying. Cause it's like, yo, nigga, that shit look fun. Right. But then you got niggas like, man, you I don't need no fucking kayak, nigga. Like, what the fuck you talking about, man? I'm not getting that no shit, fucking kayak. That's funnier than a hood nigga yeah. that says some shit like it's and it's just such impossible. Yeah. Or like, <laughs> nigga, kayak. <laughs> nigga, ain't no kayaks in the hood, nigga. Where you get a kayak from? Why yeah, are you so angry nigga, at the kayak? The why? first time, yo. I never been on the kayak until I went to Mexico. That's mm-hmm. why I got into it. So mm-hmm. I, it was like we did the motherfucking excursion. On, I, I was on the cruise. We did the excursion in Mexico. We was in Cozumel, and they just had the kayaks out there. I just got on one. I was like, "Yo, this shit is like that. Like this shit fun as a bitch." Like I never been on one before that. But next year, this mom might drop. I'm taking all my niggas from the hood, the Comic Con nigga. Please don't get us kicked out. You're definitely getting kicked out. Please don't get us the fuck kicked out. I'm you're taking all my hood out. niggas, all the niggas I grew up with out the park, Foundation Park, it's gonna be all that. my Camelot niggas, my Green Run. Like, What's we going thing? to, I'm taking y'all niggas to Comic Con. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to know what the fuck it is. Don't ask me no questions. It's going to be that one character shit that has, like, the balls, like, wherever it gets near you, like, apparently, and it gives you something, apparently, like, you're going to die or something. <laughs> and they're going to, they, nah, they're going to jump him. The reason why I say that, because <laughs> I guarantee, I guarantee, if you take, most hood niggas out there element to go do weird, what they consider weird shit. Them niggas will fuck with it. Yeah, true. Most niggas in the hood, like, fuck with a lot of shit. They just don't know they fuck with it because they haven't experienced it. Hey. And we trying to and we trying to get hood niggas to go ahead and stop bullshitting and go to the Olympics for motherfucking tumbling. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I ain't want to say gymnastics because then they going to look at They ain't going to want to do it. But yeah, nigga, I know niggas that can flip. Got man, don't you? I'll be here all day. But we out this bitch, man. You already know what it is. Until next time.